The space race of the 20th century was a battleground for technological supremacy, a clash of superpowers competing to explore the final frontier. While the United States set its sights on the moon, the Soviet Union turned its gaze toward a much harsher and more enigmatic target, a planet shrouded in toxic clouds where the air itself is a furnace and the surface is crushed under immense pressure. That planet was Venus. For decades, Venus remained a mystery, a celestial twin to Earth in size and proximity, but entirely alien in its nature. Its surface temperatures soar to over 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead, and its skies rain sulfuric acid. The crushing atmosphere exerts a pressure equivalent to being nearly a mile underwater on Earth. This was no gentle, rolling landscape. This was hell incarnate. Yet, the Soviet Union dared to explore it. The Venera program, a series of daring and groundbreaking missions, sought to unlock the secrets of Venus. The Soviets weren't just aiming for headlines. They were diving headfirst into one of the most hostile environments in the solar system. They braved unimaginable conditions, designed technology that pushed the limits of human ingenuity, and returned with data that still leaves us questioning. What exactly did they find? Were their discoveries strictly scientific, or do they hint at mysteries we've yet to comprehend? Tonight, we peel back the layers of Venus's dense atmosphere and dive into the stories of the Soviet missions that risked it all to explore the unthinkable. This is the untold tale of what the Soviets really found on Venus. Imagine for a moment the most hostile place on Earth, a volcanic landscape with rivers of molten lava, shrouded in thick smoke and surrounded by deadly gases. Now, multiply that by a thousand and you might begin to picture Venus. Venus isn't just a challenging destination, it's a celestial nightmare. Its average surface temperature of 900 degrees Fahrenheit makes it hotter than Mercury, even though Mercury is closer to the sun. The air is so dense and heavy that it feels like standing under the crushing weight of a kilometer of ocean water. And the skies? They aren't filled with fluffy white clouds, but with thick layers of sulfuric acid, a toxic brew that no human or most machines could endure for long. For decades, these extreme conditions made Venus seem like an unattainable target for exploration. But the Soviet Union was undeterred. They were driven by ambition, innovation, and a determination to prove that no frontier was beyond their reach. If Venus was the ultimate test of humanity's engineering and scientific prowess, then the Soviets were determined to pass it. The Venera program was born out of this bold vision, a program designed to pierce the planet's deadly atmosphere, land on its hellish surface, and send data back home. It was a mission as dangerous as it was groundbreaking, and it would yield results that no one expected. The Soviet Union's quest to explore Venus began in the early 1960s, with the first Venera probes attempting to survive the descent into the planet's hostile atmosphere. These early missions faced challenges that seemed insurmountable. Probes melted, electronics failed, and communication was lost before reaching the surface. But failure wasn't the end. It was a stepping stone. By 1970, the Soviets achieved a monumental milestone. Venera 7 became the first spacecraft to transmit data from the surface of another planet. Though it survived for only 23 minutes, it was a triumph of engineering, a beacon of success in a place where nothing was meant to survive. The Venera program didn't stop there. Venera 9 and 10 sent back the first ever images from Venus's surface revealing a desolate landscape of jagged rocks under a dim, orange sky. These were not just photos. They were windows into an alien world. Later missions, 
like Venera 13 and 14, push the boundaries even further. Equipped with advanced instruments, these probes captured panoramic images, analyzed soil samples, and even recorded the haunting sounds of the Venusian wind. For the first time, humanity could glimpse and hear the true nature of our planetary neighbor. But alongside these scientific breakthroughs, there were findings that defied explanation. The Venera missions didn't just reveal Venus's surface, they raised profound questions. Among the images sent back by the probes, some scientists noticed peculiar anomalies. In a few frames, strange shapes appeared to move or shift between photos. Were these simply imaging artifacts, or could they be something more? The idea of life on Venus sounds impossible, but recent discoveries of phosphine gas, a potential indicator of life, have reignited the debate. Could the harsh conditions of Venus's atmosphere still support microscopic life in its upper layers? Or were the anomalies in the Venera images just tricks of light and shadow in an alien environment? Even the chemistry of Venus's soil puzzled scientists. The Venera probes detected unusual chemical compositions that didn't align with our expectations. Were these remnants of ancient volcanic activity or evidence of processes we've never encountered before. And then there were the winds, powerful, unrelenting, and enigmatic. Their speed and behavior hinted at atmospheric dynamics we barely understood. The Venera program was a triumph of human ingenuity and determination, but it left us with more questions than answers. Decades later, the data and images captured by these Soviet probes remain a treasure trove for scientists and a reminder of the challenges that come with exploring worlds beyond our own. What did the Soviets really find on Venus? Were their discoveries purely scientific, or do they hint at mysteries that go beyond our current understanding? As we plan new missions to Venus, we stand on the shoulders of these pioneering explorers ready to confront the planet's challenges and uncover its secrets. Venus is a reminder of the universe's infinite complexity and beauty. It's a world of extremes, and its mysteries continue to captivate us. The Soviets may have been the first to touch Venus's surface, but they won't be the last. And as we venture back, we carry with us the same spirit of curiosity and wonder that drove the Venera missions decades ago. The story of Venus isn't over. Each mission, each discovery, brings us closer to understanding our solar system's most enigmatic planet. The Soviet Union's efforts were just the beginning, a testament to human courage and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. As we prepare to return to Venus, we do so with more advanced tools, more ambitious goals, and the hope of answering the questions that have lingered for decades. What secrets does Venus still hold? And what will we discover when we dare to look closer? One thing is certain. Venus has much to teach us, not just about itself, but about the universe and our place within it. And that journey of discovery is only just beginning.